Hi guys! I'm back for another candling video. This time we're in our dark storage room instead, right outside where I have the incubator. So I'm going to start off here. And what we're looking for this time, see, do you remember last time when we candled? None of the eggs really had a reddish hue, did they? They were either kind of just clear or maybe a little greenish bluish. But this one right away has a reddish hue, which is a great sign because that means that there is going to be a baby in that egg because there's blood vessels in that egg. And look closely, do you see the blood vessels? Right here. They're flowing to the baby. And in this case, I'm not able to see the baby right offhand. I can't say for sure where it is, but it's in there. And remember how we pointed out the egg air sac before? You can see it a lot easier on this one. It's very clear. So this egg, you can see right away, it doesn't have that same reddish hue that the other one had. It looks a lot the same as when we candled the first time, but I am seeing there's a little something. I think these are the start of blood vessels. Perhaps this one's a little behind the others because maybe it's in a cooler spot in the incubator. It's hard to say, but all we are, all we know is that it's too early to pull any of the eggs out. For now, we leave everything in there, and you know what? I think I see something moving, which is a great sign. So this one will definitely get put back in the incubator, and we'll see what happens next time. We'll watch that same egg. Okay, what egg is this one? Going inside of this egg. Okay, here's another one. Whoop! That looks pretty red right away, doesn't it? There is, look at that awesome blood vessel. Sorry. It looks great, and I'm not 100% positive, but I think right there at the tip of my finger is probably the baby. They're so tiny at this point, so, so tiny, it's sometimes hard to tell. But that's looking great. And this one, this one is the one that I was most excited about when I first candled. We'll see if it's still in the same spot, but before I could see blood vessels and I could even see the baby with its little beating heart. Okay. Come on. Well, there's blood vessels. But just like human babies, these babies can move around too. So they're not always in the same spot. And I was really hoping it would still be in the same spot when I came back to film. Before it was right here. Maybe if I move it at a different angle, sometimes that helps. Come on, baby. Well, you can most definitely see all those blood vessels. I'm trying to be patient for a second. Oh, well, there's kind of more of a, do you see that shadowy thing showing up there? That's the baby, but I can't see a heartbeat just yet. Well, it's not looking like we're going to be able to see the heart beating just great today, but the fact that I know this one's already doing this well, maybe tomorrow I'll check on it again and see if I can get another person to help me film and we'll see if maybe we can catch the heart beating tomorrow in another little video. So thanks for sticking with me guys. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, there's going to be a lot more to see as we go and I can't wait till those little chicks hatch. It's only about a week and a half. It goes really fast. So thanks for watching. Bye. So I was able to find another egg that we could get a good look at and we can definitely see movement from the baby in this one. If you look just right between my fingers, right about here, just watch that area. All of a sudden you can see it gets darker, gets lighter, and you can see that's the little baby moving around. I can't exactly see the heartbeat on this one. Um, sometimes you can, but these ones have been a little tricky for me. But it's pretty neat to see, you know, that you can definitely see the baby is just itty bitty tiny and you can still see it already swimming around in there.